Disclaimer, if you are easily triggered by differing opinions and hate anyone who doesn't ship what you do, please feel free to click off this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Heck, hi, hello, welcome to the video. And today, I'm here to discuss ships, Undertale ships to be more specific. As you all know, I'm literally an Undertale garbage can. There is no way to separate me from this game without a fatal outcome. Despite Undertale literally being my religion, I have a lot of unpopular opinions when it comes to the fan inside of it. Before we begin, I'd just like to remind everyone that this is all my opinion. You can ship whatever you want. I do not consider anyone to be any less of a human being because they have a differing opinion from me. Any anger I express is not directed at the shippers, but the ship itself. Don't take personal offense to anything I say. Just don't like try to confront me in the comments. We good? Cool. Let's start with one of the most popular ships, Franz. I strongly dislike Franz. It just makes no sense to me. Or should I say, makes no sense to me. <laughs> this is why I have no friends. Now, let me lay out exactly why I dislike this ship. First off, Frisk is a child. Toriel refers to Frisk as my child. Monster Kid makes comparison between the two of them, pointing out that a striped shirt means they're a kid. So it is canon that Frisk is a kid, which makes this ship pedophilia because Sans is a grown ass man. I wouldn't say it's necrophilia because Sans isn't really dead. He's made of dust and magic. He's a magical skeleton. A magical, living, talking skeleton. With ectodix, apparently. But Stream, what if I make Frisk an adult? First of all, in like 50% of Fran's art, Frisk is depicted as a kid and oh my god, it bothers me so much. Second, even if you make Frisk an adult, the ship still has holes. Yes, Frisk and Sans can be good friends, but Frisk more often than not has gone on a genocide run and slaughtered all of Sans's friends and his brother. And with a guy like Sans, I don't think he'd be pursuing a romantic relationship with a literal serial killer. And no, it was not Kara. I'll leave videos in the description explaining that. And even if Frisk never went on a genocide run, there are like the main reason Sans is depressed. Frisk will reset if they're unsatisfied and load countless times during a run because they keep dying. That's why Sans stopped trying because it'd all just be reset or loaded. What sort of moron would update their literal physical embodiment of depression? And we all know that Sans is a fucking smartass, so it would make even less sense. By the way, I'm making a comic about why this ship would literally never work. <coughs> Shameless self promotion. <coughs> Go see Aftermath. <coughs> And what's up with all the sexual tension? And why is Sans so commonly depicted as a pervert? Where are you guys getting these ideas? Oh, let's not forget that it was the rabid Franz fans that were partly responsible for the bullying of the Flowerfell creators until they couldn't take it anymore and shut down the entire AU. I can't even look at Flowerfell without a bitter taste in my mouth, even though it was supposed to be up to the reader whether Flowerfell Sans felt anything beyond friendship for Frisk. <sighs> but if there is one ship I hate more than Franz, it's Oriole. God, I loathe this ship. I hate it with a burning passion, and some of it's just irrational. Part of me wonders why I hate this ship so much, but something about it just makes my gut twist itself into a knot and not in a good way. I'll be referencing the artist Solar Wish on DeviantArt because their journal puts it beautifully. They start off by listing off Sans and Toriel's traits, both the good and bad. Sans, while lazy, depressed, tired, unmotivated, and lacks caring for anything but his brother, has good traits. He's justified, honest, laid back, humorous, protective, smart, analytical, and a giant nerd. Toriel is caring, soft hearted, has usually good intentions, and is fun loving. However, she is selfish, one sided, unable to look at a situation from a different angle, unjustified, overproductive, stubborn, and tends to mask how she feels and is generally emotionally driven. You can read the analysis of her traits if you like. Links in the description. One thing I'd like to bring up here is that Toriel is just so unbelievably selfish. She left Asgore to take care of an entire kingdom which was lost in despair because she didn't agree with how he was handling the situation and his grief. Like, I get it, you lost your kids, but so did Asgore, and I can bet you that he's being himself over it, just as, if not harder than Toriel. <sighs> okay, got that out of my system. What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, Soriel. While the two are very compatible in terms of being friends, being in a relationship would not only tear their relationship apart, but their friendship as well. Sans being a justified person wouldn't be able to understand Toriel's completely unjustified actions, as some of them are blatantly incorrect. And because both of them are stubborn as fuck, Sans wouldn't be able to convince Toriel that she's wrong and she would refuse to admit her faults. The combined stress of all of this would just increase Sans's depression until he either decides that he's done with the relationship and never talks to Toriel again, or takes a more extreme approach. Do you want that? Do you want him to do that? Would you like to make this skelly even more sad? Hey, while we're on the subject of Sans, I'm gonna bring up Fontzest. I can't believe I have to go over 
this. Sans literally wants to fuck his brother in this ship. Do you people not see what's wrong with this ship? Would you fuck your sibling? If you would, you might have been dropped on your head too many times. I'm kidding. This ship can work in that I can see how Sans and Papyrus's personalities would mesh well. But oh my god, they're brothers. Brothers! And judging by how protective Sans is of Papyrus, he almost seems like a guardian for him, which makes Sponsest even worse. That's like wanting to screw your dad. And even if you tell me, oh, but I shipped them across AUs, that does not change the fact that they are technically brothers by blood, magic, dust, you know what I mean. Conclusion, Fontcest is incest, and if you ship it, I can't do anything, but you probably shouldn't be doing that. Wanna know what's worse than incest? Self-cest, of course. I can't imagine Sans literally wanting to jump his own bones. Like, it's so messed up. Imagine looking into a mirror and then thinking to yourself, Wow, I really want to get married to my reflection. It's just so narcissistic and literally the opposite of Sans's character. This is something I'd expect from Metaton, not Sans. Ships like Custard, after death, Dustberry are just different versions of Sans wanting to fuck himself. And most of these relationships are pretty toxic, like After Death and Dustberry and Horolas. Just. <sighs> and I can't leave out the most infamous ship Error and Ink. Ink literally does not have a soul. He cannot feel any emotions without his damn vials. Why, oh why, would you believe a creature like him would ever fall in love with anyone? It doesn't make sense! And, like, the same thing with Paper Jam and Fresh. Fresh isn't even Sans, technically. He's a parasite using Sans as a vessel. And you're shipping him with Paper Jam, who is the ship child of Ink and Error, which is also technically pedophilia because Fresh is considered to be the same age as Error, and Paper Jam is a child. And in some cases, it can even be incest because there are fan theories that Error and Fresh are brothers, so that makes everything a million times worse. You're fucking your uncle! <sighs> okay, last category. OCX canon. Or more specifically, Sans fangirls. I don't mind Sans fangirls slash boys. Most of them are very cool people, and I'd love to be able to talk to them more. <coughs> Mika. <coughs> but if I'm being completely honest, 99% of the time when I see an OCX cannon, I don't ship it. Uh, I can hear the white knights donning their armor and coming to bless me with the sweet release of death. <laughs> Jokes aside, I don't really ship a lot of Sans fangirls with Sans. Scootaloo, Sashley, Susan, Mortal, Quora. I enjoy their content and support them, but I don't ship their characters with Sans. I don't mind it. Yeah, there can be some cute moments in the ship, but for the most part, I just don't ship it. When I see an OCX canon, I usually start digging, finding their backstory, personality, stuff like that. If I ship something, it's usually because I believe that the two characters are compatible for each other. Basically what I'm trying to say is, it's not the looks that sells me, it's the story. I'm a sucker for good stories. What Sashley, Susan, Moral, and Cora lack is a proper backstory for their characters. Especially with Sashley's character, Ashley. I can't nail down a solid personality for Ashley since it changes so frequently with every meme. I'm not saying that what she's doing is bad or wrong, I'm just not the biggest fan of that sort of thing. And before you type, Sans likes them because they're cute slash pretty! For Sans, or my headcanon of him, I don't think he'd be the type to date someone based on their looks alone. You're free to think whatever you want, though. Now, while Scootaloo does have a solid character and interesting backstory, I don't chip her character with Sans because I don't believe their personalities would mesh well. I don't see why Sans would love Scootaloo. It's like shipping and dying with Sans. It just doesn't work. It's really awkward. And perhaps it'll be explained later in Ponytail, but for now, I'm neutral about the ship. Again, just because I don't ship their characters doesn't mean I don't enjoy their work. I still love their animations and I love their art and I would love to be able to animate half as well as they do. I don't mind the ship, I just don't ship it myself. There is one exception to this category though. Mika Chaki slash Fanofixedsies. Yes, I'm biased because she's my favorite Sans fangirl, but I ship Mika slash Fano with Sans because I think their personalities would be very compatible. Mika and Fano both have fantastic backstories and their personalities would have Sans head over heels for them. Fano was quiet, soft-spoken, but shared the same sense of humor as Sans and was there to give him a shoulder to cry on. Mika's a bit bolder, being able to understand Sans and argue with him in a way that your friends do. I love her characters and ship her with Sans, 9001% would die for the ship. This is all just my opinion. You can have your own and tell me what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear the other side of the story, but like, Please keep it civil. Don't just spam. Oh my god! You don't ship! Insert ship! You're such an uncultured swine! That does nothing.
you won't convert me to your ship that way. Just have a nice discussion. If you've made it to the end without going to the comments to tell me to end my life, then give yourself a pat on the back. It's probably really hard to listen to an idiot blab about their dumb opinion, especially when it's me. Thank you all for watching, stab me if you like, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!